My name is George Elliott. I live in the Scottish Borders, uh, Melrose, which is very close to the Gala Shields practice. I've been a rugby player, lost my front teeth. That's maybe one of the reasons that I'm going to be uh, talking about uh, today. I have uh, four children, all grown up, uh, seven grandchildren, 71 the, this year. I've almost retired, I'm still active uh, in a sort of business uh, environment. And uh, I'm just now starting to think of looking after myself a little bit better than I have been. My top molars, my bottom molars were very worn. As I mentioned, I was a rugby player in my youth, lost my two front teeth and I had a bridge. And I was just getting concerned that uh, in my 70s, things might get a little bit more tricky, say 10 years from now, if I'm fortunate to, to get that far. Eating may become more of a problem. And certainly I was you know, having to have a filling upon a filling and a filling upon a filling and then extractions. And then when I saw the, the literature, funnily enough, in this, this waiting room about what could be done with the chrome fitting and what could be done in terms of uh, implants, I asked the question. Uh, what could be done. And uh, I had an initial consultation, so the options were take everything out from the top and sort the molars on the bottom. And that's the plan that uh, with, with Sebastian we decided to go ahead and, and do. One, I was going to get uh, an ability to be able to uh, eat properly in later, in later life and also correct a lot of the uh, defects that I've had with my teeth, the ability to smile again. I do smile quite a lot uh, anyway, but it was only when I was actually looking at uh, what my smile looked like. And I thought, why not? Because I could just see what I was doing, just this constant maintenance was going to be a continued problem. So I would say I looked upon this as not so much the time I'm losing just now, but the time I'm gaining going ahead. Uh, and the discomfort that I was going to have before and continue with, that was all going to disappear. So, and that's what's happened. So I'm delighted with that. I'm back to where I was 50, 60 years ago. I look after my teeth a lot better now than I did before because I, um, I just don't take them for granted anymore. But I'm very happy with the result, very happy. What amazed me was the amount of care and the technology that was involved in getting everything right. The staff are all very, very nice, very patient focused and they smile. It's, it's, it's nice coming in here. You're made to feel that you are the only person that they have dealt with and that's a great skill when you think that you're the only uh, patient. So I would definitely recommend it but make sure you've got the time to do it. And when you see the care, the precision, as I say, the equipment that it's used, it is not just like getting a filling or an extraction. You're getting something that's created and crafted for you.